Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you something with inputs. Now I've already made a video on inputs, but today I'm going to be redoing it so that you guys may understand it um, a bit better. And this way it's also chronologically in order with the other videos that I've made in the uh, past for this little list or uh, video series that I've been doing. So, first off, I'm going to tell you that there are two different types of input. There is uh, just input, like that. Just I-N-P-U-T, and then parentheses. And then there is raw input, like that. Which is just raw underscore input, and then parentheses. Now, the reason that there's two of these is because I'm using 2.7. Python. Uh, if you're using 3.0 or th above, then I believe you only have one type of input. I'm not really sure. I don't use that. It's only uh, 2011 right now, and it, it's just not supported that well, so I don't use it. So because I don't use it, there may be little differences with what I'm about to show you and what you use. I do recommend using Python 2.7, however. So First, what I'm going to show you is the um, reason to use input. So after you put input in its parentheses, just press enter and it's going to allow you to insert any number, whether it has a decimal point or not. But you cannot enter in a letter. So for example, I can put in like 12.1 and it works, but if I do input the exact same way and put in A, you get an error because A is not defined. It tries to put it in there without um, any uh, print in quotations. And so even if you use a variable, it's not going to work because it has to be a number. Otherwise, it's going to try and look at what it, whatever's in your variable. If it's a string, uh, it's going to try and look at that as uh, more variables. So you can't use it that way. Raw input is used for strings, but not numbers. So you can enter in like five, and it'll work fine. But it puts it in quotations, as you can see, right here. So these quotations here make the uh, number into a string. But we can also do like raw input. Uh, this is a string. But there are ways to. Um, make raw input use numbers. But first I'm going to show you a reason why you want to make it so raw input will use numbers. If you make a program that uses input and it's like a calculator, well then there will be issues. See if I press enter and then let's say someone has a really long number and there is just for math homework or something and for some reason it starts with a zero. If they try to do zero one zero zero one zero one one zero, anything that's kind of like binary, I guess, or even if they're just making a joke and they're trying to put in binary, if it starts with a zero, which this probably doesn't even mean anything in binary, by the way, but if it starts with a zero, press enter, you end up with this, and this is because it kind of looks at it as I believe like hexadem uh, hexadecimal or something like that, and so as you can see here. Uh, this is not what you put up here. So you don't want to use input. It's a kind of a security error or a way to be, be exploited. So what you do instead is you use the float or int functions. In this case we're going to be using the float. They're both used the same way. You just type in whatever it is. So float f l o a t if it's int, it's int, and then you put parentheses, which basically says whatever's in the parentheses, I want you to make that into a float, or if you're using int, it turns it into an integer. And a float, if you guys don't know, is anything that has like a decimal, so 6.6 .6 would be a float. So we want to make raw input into a float, so whatever they try to enter will be turned into a float. But you gotta remember that since this is in parentheses, you have to make parentheses um, after that so that the parentheses are also inside the float function. So then you press uh, enter, we put in 12.1, and 
and as you see here there are no quotations and if you don't believe me that it does that if you try to go in here and let's say put in a again you get traceback error because it can't convert a string to a float now before we're completely done I'm going to show you one more thing and it's how to make a prompt in here so if you use um, JavaScript then you probably know what a prompt is it's basically like something that has you enter in data and it has a message to it so let's say you want like well now that we know that you want to use raw input at all, at all times we're just going to use raw input so let's say you want it to say enter your name here what I did here was those parentheses that you have they're not completely useless they're actually there for a reason that's where you enter in your message but you have to do it with um, parentheses so that it doesn't look at all this as a variable and it looks at it as a string so now if we press enter we'll get the prompt message enter your name here and then I could just put in my name and you'll get it returned as a string also I'm not sure if I showed this nope I didn't um, you can also assign this to a variable so we could do like a equal to uh, oops my bad a is equal to raw input and then we'll have it say enter your name here and then we do Kurt and now Kurt is stored in there and now if we do print a we get Kurt so that is the basics on your input functions I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned from it Please comment if you have any questions or comments or recommendations. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe for my future videos and to help support what I'm doing. Thank you guys for watching.